The last day of summer for Phineas and Ferb was a great finale to a summer filled with fun times. And it was mostly because it focused on the two who deserved it, Candace and Doofenshmirtz, by giving them conclusions to their characters. In the episode, Phineas and Ferb and the summer gang have one last day to have some crazy fun, which means Candace has one last attempt to bust the boys and fails miserably. Meanwhile, Doofenshmirtz continues and fails to try and become the tri-state governor and prove that he isn't a loser to Vanessa. Luckily for them, they have an innator that can put them in a classic Groundhog's Day scenario, which Doofenshmirtz uses to his full advantage to become the tri-state governor. Unfortunately, messing with time has its consequences and starts to erase concepts and things into a void, removing it from the memories of everyone. Eventually, Phineas and Ferb get sucked into the void and Candace goes to great lengths to save them from the said nothingness and destroy the Duvenator. And on the other side, Doofenshmirtz creates an innator to straighten out time after he realizes that he isn't happy being evil despite his childhood. And with that, we end our summer knowing that the most important thing in life is to do what you love because no one wants to be stuck doing something they hate. And maybe lay off your siblings and appreciate them when they're around.